thank you for coming out today. My name is Rob and I'm with Aptus Plant Tech uh, here in the USA. Uh, it's actually a company that was founded in Holland about uh, 10 years ago. And, uh, but we've just brought it to the US and so tonight we're going to do uh, a little bit of education. We're going to obviously talk about the products, but first of all I want to talk about uh, some very important concepts and more about the philosophy of, of growing and how Aptus was formulated before I get into talking about products. So let's, let's start out with uh, what are our goals as growers? We all have different goals and different purposes and everybody does things for a little bit different reason but the, there's four primary goals uh, when we're uh, approaching any kind of growing situation whether it be a, a home gardener looking to grow food for themselves or a big agricultural company with thousands of acres of wheat we all have basically four primary goals. Uh, the first one is we want to get bigger yields. Obviously bigger yields means more money. Uh, second thing is we might want better quality. Perhaps if we're an organic farmer or we're working with a, a very specific type of crop, we want better quality uh, for our consumers. Uh, we also might want to cut costs and save some money. Uh, farming can be very expensive, certain aspects of it, with equipment, nutrients, things like that. We want to make sure that we cut costs. And then finally, we are looking for efficiencies, uh, both in work and, of course, in money, too. Um, but really, no matter who you look at, those are our goals. Increases is the BRICS level. And a lot of people think that BRICS is just the measure of sugars in a plant, but it's actually a measure of all the dissolved solids. When you have a higher level of BRICS, it means you've got amino acids, you've got vitamins, you've got minerals, you've got all sorts of good stuff that the plant uses and needs. All the building blocks of life running up and down through that plant. And what's fascinating about BRICS and pH both is they can be a, a very distinct measure of what makes a plant healthy, and, or if a plant is healthy or not. When you have low pH, for example, in the plant sap, and you measure this, the plant actually sends out, most plants, send out a, an infrared signal out to the world. And the reason they do this, this is natural selection. The plant is saying, listen, I'm sick, please come kill me. Well, what's even more interesting is that insects, a lot of them, particularly ones that like plants, tend to see in infrared. And so when the plant sends out this signal, the insects are attracted to come eat and kill the plant. And that's how nature chooses to get rid of the sick plants and to let the strong plant survive. If you've got a strong plant with a proper balanced pH inside, it is almost invulnerable to insect, fungi, and any kind of disease attacks. A lot of people know that L amino acids are important or at least amino acids, but what they don't know or aren't familiar with is that there's two kinds of amino acids. There's a left turning and there's a right turning. And in nature, the only kind of amino acid that nature rec recognizes, biology recognizes, is the left turning amino acids. Right turning are synthetic. You can create them in a lab and that's great. Yes, it is still an amino acid. And if you read a bottle, it's gonna say contains amino acids. But most of those are right turning because they're synthetically created. You have to have an organic source in order to have a left turning amino acid. What's interesting is if a plant is given both of them, right turning, left turning, the plant will absorb the right turning amino acid. But it can't do anything with it until it first metabolizes it and converts it into a left turning amino acid before it can utilize it because it doesn't recognize. That metabolism process takes energy from the plant. So if you're feeding, again, synthetics, you're feeding these synthetics to the plant, the plant requires extra energy just to be able to use it. It's taking that energy then from more important processes like producing fruit, flowers, flavors, texture, strength, resilience, immune system, etc. And what they're finding now with research is that we can put carbon back in the soil. And by putting that carbon and then putting this biology back in the soil, it brings the soil back to life. And you're able to use half, a third, a tenth much, much less fertilizers because those bacteria and those, those fungi are actually uh, breaking down all the minerals, all that raw organic material that's in the soil into nutrients. So we have to input a lot less, which is good for sustainability. This, again, this is not just an invention. This is not a cool little ploy and hey, we're gonna market this product and, and tell you a good story and hope you buy it. There's technology behind this that is based upon the natural processes out in the world. And so it's very exciting because you're able to grow in a natural, organic, bioavailable way without using all these synthetic inputs and you end up having better results. You get those better yields. You get better, much, much better quality. You end up saving a lot of money because you're not putting 5,000 kilograms on your crop. You're putting one and a half liters. And there's a big difference in that. 
logistically and, and sustainability wise. I want to talk now about the different products and break down each one and show you how they work within this system because when you look at a nutrition line, you have to look at it systematically. Nature looks at it systematically, we need to look at it that way. We need to say, are all the components there, are we going to cover all our bases? And uh, so I'm going to go through one product at a time, explain what's in it, how it works, and then I want to talk about how to use it and how they work in a practical setting. So the first thing, the first product is Facilitor. And uh, this is a very, very important product. This is the flagship product of the entire Aptus Premium Collection. Uh, Facilitor is what contains the salicylic acid uh, and the microelements. So I already explained a bit about what salicylic acid does and why it's so important. Um, but what's really important about this is the concentration. Uh, salicylic acid is extremely concentrated. You're only going to use about three milliliters of this per five gallons of feed water. And that's because it's a, it's a pure form. It's only salicylic acid in here along with a few little micro elements. Um, what they do, uh, the first thing that it has, first micro in it is uh, boron. I already explained salicylic acid, but boron is very important because it does some very key things um, in a plant that, uh, that's necessary at the beginning stages of growth. So we talk about biosequencing. If, if you're not familiar with that term, uh, this concept of chemical biosequencing is the order of uptake of nutrients. It basically works like, the, like a pyramid, like a food pyramid or something. There has to be this foundation and each different mineral comes up based upon what's in there. So for example, boron is a precursor to all other mineral uptake. Boron is a stimulator. Particularly, it stimulates the uptake of calcium. Now, I do recommend at the beginning of veg, when you're first starting out, particularly if you're just new with Aptis or you're starting with a new base, it's a good idea to cut your base MPK dose in half. So look at the recommendation on the bottle, cut it in half, use all your additives, see how the plants respond. Always got to look at how the plants respond because that's really the story that, that is told. You know, you, you can tell if something's wrong, you'll know it. Within a few days, your plants will tell you. you they communicate. Exactly. You can always add more. You cannot take away. So once you get into flour, the process is the same. Facilitor first, then your base, check your EC, and then add your other boosters based upon the feed schedule. Follow the instructions, and I guarantee you will have great success. A lot of people, when they first are introduced to this, they say, yeah, heard it all before. Another nutrient line. Yippee. You and 50 others that have been banging on my door for the last week. All I say is try it and you'll become a believer. The nutrition in this is so optimized. It is so scientific and so natural. Unlike anything else that you have ever used, I absolutely guarantee it. It's even, even though they're organic products, it's different than using just organic inputs like bat guanos and things because it's immediately available, immediately available for the plants. I guarantee you use this, these two products, we have a Believer Pack. If you go to your local store, ask for a Believer Pack because they're going to have these two products in 50 milliliter bottles. It'll mix off, these two products will mix off about 50 gallons. You use that for one week and I guarantee within probably four to five days you'll be calling up your store going, okay, I believe. And people do, nonstop. We get calls all the time, just that simple test. Test on your veg, you'll see unparalleled growth. Healthier, more branching, tighter node spacing, and you'll use far less feed and nutrients than you've used on anything else. And it's, it's absolutely amazing. I mean, but when we think about it, it's not amazing. I pinch myself every once in a while going, man, this is like a miracle. We think we're geniuses for replicating it. We're not. We just copied what's happening. And so if you want to be a more intelligent grower, if you want to be thoughtful about what you're doing and, and be purposeful and, and all the benefits I talked about, yeah, the bigger yields, the better quality, things like that, but also helping to minimize the runoff into our oceans and, and fix our cropland and bring our soil back to life and bring better nutrition to our table. I recommend using this, absolutely hands down, but I'm not here to sell it to you. I just want you to try it. And that's really what it comes down to. You try it, if you don't like it, fine. But I guarantee you, you'll be calling me up saying thank you because it really is absolutely a miracle. So uh, thank you very much for coming tonight and uh, have a wonderful day. Your journey is just beginning.